Britain has a rich mining heritage. For centuries, we've drawn resources from the ground beneath our feet to fuel our country. Most of our underground industries have gone, but disused mines like this one at Bowness near Falkirk have a new role to play. The miners dug deep into the earth looking for things like coal and iron ore and this stuff, which is used for making bricks. But they left behind something that engineers and geologists have found useful. What's left behind is water, and that water can do something amazing. Now, this dirty mine water can be used to provide piping hot water for homes hundreds of feet above. All it takes is some simple engineering and some very clever physics. This mine water is at a temperature of about nine and a half degrees centigrade. And even though it feels, well actually it feels pretty cold, there's still some heat in this water and we can use that. So how on earth do you turn water that's nine and a half degrees into water that's over 50 degrees, hot enough for a bath? You need an ingenious contraption like this. In goes my mine water and over here is my bath water. Let's turn her on. These copper pipes contain a special liquid called a refrigerant that boils at a very low temperature, turning it from a liquid to a gas. And this water is completely hot enough to boil the refrigerant liquid. The gas then travels down to something called a compressor. Now the compressor is a really important part of this because what that does is it squashes the refrigerant gas together so that all the refrigerant gas molecules start to bash into each other, creating more heat, compressing the heat that's there. The hot gas then travels to my bath water, heating it up. A thermal imaging camera really shows how the temperature changes. My mine water has dropped from 10 degrees to freezing. But my bath water has leapt from 10 degrees to 50 degrees, five times hotter. That's really warmed up, 52 and a half degrees, that is now, which is, oh, ow, way too hot for a bath. It's brilliant. This contraption is known as a ground source heat pump. You need some electricity to power the compressor, but overall it only uses about a third of the energy of a conventional boiler. The benefit of mine water is that it always stays at a constant temperature. Glasgow is starting to take advantage of this technology. Underneath the modern city is a warren of disused shafts and tunnels. The British Geological Survey believes this is a resource that could provide 40% of the city's hot water. One housing complex in Shettleston, in the east end of Glasgow, is already benefiting. These 16 homes are all heated by mine water, sucked up from below. Joe Whitley is in charge of the building's heat pump. So I'm guessing, because it's, it's written on it, that this is the heat pump here. Yeah. Where's your hot water tank? Here's a hot water tank here. This thing? Yes. It's huge! It is. How big is it? It's 10,000 litres capacity. So, Joe, what's the benefit of this sort of system? It's very um, economical for our tenants. We estimate that we get um, about 60% of the heat output from this is, is free to us. Mary Thomas has lived here since the flats opened. So, Mary, tell me, what about the bills? How are your bills? Well, they're a lot better than they used to when I lived before. You know, they're half, they're more than half. Half the price? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. What do you spend all the money you save on? The bowling club. The bowling. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to the UK's industrial heritage, there are disused mines all over the country. It's hoped they could be used as a major source of Britain's heat in the future.